Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. A vigil tonight for missing Indiana University student Lauren Spear will be held at the Evangelical Church in Bloomington. The vigil was organized as a way to lift up the spirits of the Spear family and volunteers who have been out searching for Lauren since June 3rd. The community is encouraged to attend tonight's vigil. It begins at 7 o'clock. The average cost to educate a student is $10,000. That total goes up to $15,000 to educate someone with severe disabilities. With the state decreasing base level funds, schools are looking at ways to cut costs. Here's more on how special needs programs could be affected. Terry Spradlin is the Director of Education Policy at KEEP. He says overall school corporations will gain $90 million next year because of changes in the funding formula. However, that doesn't come close to restoring cuts made last year when districts saw their budgets slashed by $600 million. Funds are going to have to be redistributed, and Spradlin says there's no perfect solution. When we talk about special education funding, uh, those students receive uh, supplemental funding. There's an additional funding in the formula for those students. So the ongoing political debate is how much is enough? What is that exact amount we need per pupil to provide an adequate education to make sure all students are meeting standards and de demonstrating proficiency on our statewide standardized test, I-STEP? And so that we don't know the answer. That's an ongoing debate. Janie Jones is a special education director in southern Indiana. In the five counties she oversees, 2,500 students are enrolled in special education classes. That number has grown steadily, but the number of teachers has not. We have had a decline in our uh, funding for the last three years, which obviously does take away. Uh, we do have to decrease along with, you know, the decreases that we get um, and uh, we have had to uh, decrease some staff. Spradlin says the 2012 state budget includes $505 million for K-12 through education plus a half a percent increase in 2013. Spradlin adds that funding is lean for some school districts and they'll be forced to make tough decisions.